Oh, monkey's perfect. So Excellent! So oh, there we go. That helped out. Let's start moving through. They are held outside for a little while now. Now, early on in the rounds, you can stop for longer and shoot back at the zombies chasing you, but I can smell my own blood. grab that quickly. But as the rounds get higher and higher, you'll only have a very short time in certain areas that it'll be safe to do this. Otherwise, you will get stuck. So especially through this area here, and uh, through the dressing room, as I said, you want to move through there fairly quickly in the later rounds, and uh, have your best weapon out, just in case something uh, leaps out in front of you. I can probably use that. So nearly at the end of round 14. So uh, I'm out of ammo, but uh, the good news is we shouldn't be too far away from the dog round. And if I need to, I can always pack a punch the uh, Galil for more ammo. Excellent, so we'll get Emma off the uh, Hellhounds here. Now an easy way to kill the Hellhounds is simply to use the uh, turrets here. And even though I could decimate with them with the Thunder Gun, I'll just show you here that you don't need to even shoot a single uh, weapon at them because the turret will do all the work for you. So if you do uh, run out of ammo and uh, you're a bit desperate, you can uh, just switch on the turret. It's uh, quite useful for that. Ammo. A gift from Sam? But why? What was that? Uh, insta kill, sweet. Insta kill. I will please you now. The voices. Follow <laughs> your The flames of the dead. Sometimes you don't get any drops for ages, and then you get them all at once. So. Die, my pretty. Die. Okay, so once again, we'll start our journey up the aisle here, and uh, see how we go.
squishy beast. Okay, so as you can see, we're pretty much getting through all the ammo in the Galil almost in one round. So I will need to pack a punch that pretty soon, and uh, then eventually I'll probably need to get rid of it for something else. Now there is pus everywhere. That's quite typical if you're using a strategy to have uh, only the gas crawlers left at the end because they will have already uh, killed all of the uh, regular zombies with their Nova gas. Okay, so let's get moving here. The zombies are starting to spawn in a little bit quicker. And I'm gonna have to go up the uh, teleporter unless I get super lucky here and uh, and pack a punch the old uh, Galil. Might have one hit at the box, just see if I get anything uh, decent out of it, like the RPK. Uh, I don't really want that. It's even worse than the Khalil for running out of ammo. So I try and group up the uh, zombies a little bit here and uh, just use. Thunder gun to uh, clear them out a little bit. I'm gonna crawl up behind me there, so I have to be a little bit careful. Okay. Now while I'm up here, I might as well pack a punch both weapons. I would hurt so good if I put my hands in there. No rounds, no wounds, no joy! The dog guy is ready for war now! Now, uh, I'm gonna rain some death down on the zombies with the uh, grenades a little bit. And uh, that's pretty much the way I'll be starting each round uh, from this point onwards. By uh, coming up in the teleporter. Squishy, squishy little bug. And uh, grab the uh, reel there if I can. God damn it. There we go. <laughs> Perhaps I can save his appendix. The doctor says. Die! And uh, it's pretty much the end of the round, I think. I don't really need anything out of the box, but I might as well have a hit at it and uh, see what pops up. Just while I'm waiting for the uh, teleporter to reset, anyway. Stay below me, Hunterburst. Die! Oh, Raygun. Tempting, tempting, but. Uh, for well, the strategy that I'm using, I'll probably prefer to have uh, something like what I've got here, the lamentation. I can smell my own blood! Fear me! Okay, 
Okay, so let's set up the uh, teleporter. And uh, I'll probably just do a continue my circuit through here till we get back to the stage. the reel in here and uh, chuck our grenades down at the zombies. Showers of the 